Feeling on top of the world is an emotion Collins Meto is now very familiar with. The 14-year-old candidate managed to reign supreme in this year's Kenya Certificate of Primary Education examinations with 434 marks out of a possible 500. Somehow on the 9th of November he saw it coming. I expect very high marks, I believe. Even so, he could not hold back the tears of joy. I jumped about. <laughs> I even cried. I was just so happy. Collins was visiting his aunt and uncle in Tamoe village in Nandi County when his name was announced on national television as the top boy in the country, giving him a ticket to any school of his choice. Alan's boys high school. Upon hearing the news, relatives and friends flocked his uncle's home to celebrate, and Collins, as young as he is, was feted in a way only heroes are. We were in a matter too, and uh, okay, we, we, we didn't believe. We didn't believe, but uh, after some time, we got another call from a relative uh, who actually said, uh, Robi, Naita Robi, uncle number two, seat number one. I'm just so happy. I just praise God and I thank him for everything. I thank him for the results. He's a very humble boy, a very stunned Christian in school. Collins, who sat for his KCPE examination in Kabarak Primary School in Nakuru and is the last born of four children, aspires to be an aeronautical engineer once he has finished his high school education. He was at par in the first position with Linus Ngatia, who KTN managed to catch alongside his family as they were making their way to Trinity Boarding School in Maragua. The excitement was evident. Truly speaking, I did not expect to be positioned in the whole nation. They expected to pass, but I really do thank the Lord for what he has done unto me. Most of the 746,080 KCPE candidates who sat their exams in November are now preparing for the next phase in their lives, which is secondary school. Hopefully, as Collins Meta predicted before, he will again make headlines in 2014 when he sits his Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education. But until then, he and Linus Mushiri will continue to bask in the spotlight. Catherine Omwando, KTN Prime.